Hey, what's going on folks? It's Mike here and welcome to another gameplay video here where we're going to be talking about some more Doom books from a technical perspective, but I want to go ahead and pick up from the game and see if I got any better doing a little speed run here. So let's just go ahead and run through this really quickly here, having a little bit of fun with the Doom game. Now this video is picking up from my previous video, which you haven't seen, make sure you check off in the playlist. And I talk about the book Doom Guy, primarily released by John Romero recently, which talks about the design and the journey of id Studios, one of the major studios in our gaming history that built the Doom franchise, as well as many other textbooks. So today I'm going to be showing you two other really nice books uh, written by Fabian Sanglard that I think are really influential and important uh, for covering some of the technical details in Doom here. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll get into that as soon as I run through this. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to even get it under a minute, uh, though I did get more uh, kills this time, I guess. So let's go ahead and see here before we get into the books how I did here. All right, time, <sighs> 45 seconds. Okay, the par is 30. Maybe we'll do better next time. But with that said, let's go ahead and get into it. Alrighty, welcome again, folks. It's nice to see you and thanks for joining. And again, this is a video that's a little bit of a continuation, as I mentioned, from the previous video where we talked about the series Doom, a series that's nearly 30 years uh, to the day here. We are uh, celebrating Doom Day on December 10th, so we've got a little bit of time from this video release. But again, 30 years for a gaming franchise that's been quite influential um, in terms of pop culture, the games we play, but also in the technology. And that's what I want to highlight today. And the first place that I'm going to actually bring you is on Fabian Sanglard's website here. So Fabian's written lots of nice articles here, and they're actually in a really nice uh, style that I like, very simple. But if we search for Doom or Wolfenstein, um, there is actually some nice early articles that he wrote here doing a source code review. And I think this is in general just an excellent exercise for programmers to do to read other source codes. So there's something to be said there with the other contents in our channel where we talk about programming, C++, Dlang, C, and so on, Open Geographics, all that kind of stuff here. Um, but one of these articles that he did in 2010 was on the Doom Engine code review. So he talks about a lot of the different things like the uh, level design, the different tools used, some of the data structures like binary space partitions, which were um, a really uh, a, a data structure that had existed for quite some time. Um, for solving problems in graphics and visibility, uh, but was applied very nicely in the Doom series and has been sort of a staple in game development. So uh, lots of neat stuff in here. So the thing I want to highlight, though, is that uh, after Fabian had written these articles and some other ones, he actually decided to collect these things into some books. So I want to talk about these books briefly because I think there are other things that are useful to you if you're a student, say, of game design, engine design, or even somebody who's programming now, I think it's still interesting. It might even be an interesting exercise to build one of these engines here. Uh, so the first book that he built, I've got my copy here, uh, first edition of it, uh, the Game Engine Black Book for Wolfenstein 3D, which was one of the games that came prior to Doom, uh, again, goes through the level design, some of the architecture, how they built things. Um, there's some uh, antidotes from the teams and so on from here, from Carmack and so on. Uh, so a really nice book here. I recommend reading both of the books that I'm going to show you um, in the order that they're released so you can kind of see the technology and how it evolved. I think it's really nice. Um, it's a reasonable read. It's about 300 pages or so. It's technical, um, meaning that there is code in here. Uh, there's lots of diagrams. There are, uh, you know, pictures of source code and stuff that... Um, you might want to take some time to digest, but it still is a nice read that you can go through. And it even talks about things like computer architecture, which might have some other value um, as some of this stuff still holds today, and even just thinking about some of these things. So uh, this is the first book that he wrote, but the one I want to get to since we're talking about Doom is the Game Engine Black Book uh, for Doom here. I've got my first edition copy. Uh, and again, a really nice book that you can read through here. It has beautiful color pictures and uh, source code. <laughs> Let's go ahead and show as I uh, flip through this. Um, but it talks about some of the technical details that you'll find on this website and so on. So a uh, really nice book. I like to support the author. You can find, um, I believe he has linked um, some of the books online so you can check out his actual website here. Um, but again, just a nice way to see the different techniques and technology that was put into some of the things that are still in modern game engines, right? Using different threads for sound and rendering, these sorts of ideas, how to create 
uh, levels, compressed assets uh, for the game and how to distribute them. So those are things that are covered in here. It's a really uh, thorough review of the source code. Um, and I think one of the, the staples here uh, for how to uh, review an engine and sort of understand it, right? To actually write a full book about it. Um, so anyways, there's a lesson to be had here uh, with these sort of things about reading the source code of the games you play, if that's available. I think that's really cool. And that's something that uh, the Doom team was known for uh, releasing their technology over time. So I think all the way through um, at least the Doom 3 engine, you can find the source code, which would still be relevant and useful if you're a student uh, learning game engine programming or even or, you know if you're doing this professionally. I bet there's something you can pick up from it. So anyways, folks, with that said, just want to keep this a short and sweet one. These were two more books that um, sort of go with the Doom uh, reading list uh, as we're you know, mostly a programming channel here. So <laughs> um, I just, uh, again, wanted to bring those to your attention. If you know of other great texts to take a look at, other franchises, feel free to comment below. Uh, and as always, go ahead and post your best speed run of Doom here. I'd be curious to see. Um, and maybe I'll get it under 30 seconds one day. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for your time and attention, folks. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one.